Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you have not already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. As you can see on the menu today, I'm going to make these little beauties, little tiki. These are potato and spinach, or sago, palak and aloo. They're really easy to make. You can add little bits and pieces as, as you know, how you want. Get them flavoured how you like. They're crispy on the outside and they're really soft on the inside. There's one that I've cut open. I mean, I really, really love these. Fantastic. Let's go and do it. So let's get started on these. They're a fantastic little snack. As you can see here, I've got some mashed potato. So I'm not going to show you how to make mashed potato. I'm sure you can do it. So literally, I peeled some potatoes. I boiled them to they're nice and soft and I just mashed them. Um, there's no salt in there. There's no butter or anything like that. Just potatoes mashed. You can use, put them in a the pressure cooker if, you, cooker if you like and then peel the skin off afterwards. I just done it that way. Here I've got some spinach or palak, which is uh, fresh. I mean, I used a fresh one, which I cooked, you know, squeezed the water out and put it in. About four times the amount of potato to the, to the uh, spinach. Now, we're just going to chuck a load of bits and pieces in this. They're really simple. There's loads of ways you can make these, lots of different recipes. So you can add, a, you know, as uh, what you like, really. So, okay. There I've got some chopped ginger, nice heaped teaspoon, some fresh chili. Let's go in with a little bit of salt. Generous amount of salt. Here I've got some jeera or cumin seeds. A few powders here. Equal parts of turmeric cumin, chilli and coriander powder. And now throw in some chopped onions. In they go. Some fresh coriander. Some mint leaves. I think that you know, gives it a great, a really great uh, flavour. Now I'm going to add a little bit, a teaspoon, teaspoon of, and a bit of corn flour or cornstarch you can if you want use bread crumbs or some, some, sometimes uh, you soak bread and break it and then put it in but like I said there's lots of different ways of making this little little dish right I'm gonna go straight in with my hands and mix this all together there's some wonderful flavors happening there simply what we're gonna do is form these into little shapes, little balls or something like that, sort of that size. And then we're going to fry them in some very, very, very hot oil. Get them all nice and crispy. Now check the consistency, because if this is too wet, you might want to add a little bit more cornstarch or flour or some breadcrumbs. That's up to you. This kind of feels good to me. Yeah, that's about right for me. So if I grab a little bit, Make it into a ball, like that, and then kind of squish it down like a decent sized chicken nugget maybe, or a, a kind of coin. I mean, to be honest, you can do them any how you like. You can make them any shape you like. They're generally just served as little round things. Right, that's it. I'm going to form them, and then we'll go to the next stage. There we have it then. So I've got my little tickies on the side there. Absolutely beautiful, really happy with these. Like I said, you can really play around with them and add little bits and pieces that you like. I mean, you can just do them straight, just potato and a few spices. I mean, that, that, that really works as well. Now, if you're not really confident that these are going to fry well, a little tip for you. Pop these in the freezer for about 20 minutes. And that will kind of firm them up and give them a bit of kind of body. Because what we're about to do is get some nice hot oil and then we're going to drop them in and fry them for a few minutes. Let's go and do that. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got my pan and I've got some oil in there. I'm using a canola oil, but you can use any oil that you fancy. It's no problem. You just need to get it nice and hot. And then what we're going to do, I'm just going to pop these in. You don't want to crowd the pan too much. So 
So I'm just going to do about four. Yeah, I'll do four now. Four at a time. My advice right now is don't touch them. Let them kind of seal. If you start moving them now, they're going to break. But just give them a, you know, a minute or so, then they'll be fine. Really simply, we're going to kind of golden brown them up, fry them a little bit. Out they come. Drain them off onto some kitchen towel. That's it. Super, super easy and delicious. These have been in my very hot oil for about two minutes. Let's take a look. Absolutely perfect. Look at that. Okay, out they come. Like I said, under some kitchen paper or towel just to sort of get rid of that excess oil. Now I'm going to repeat the process. And I'll see you once they're all done. And there we go, guys. Done. Absolutely delicious. I really love these. They're a fantastic little snack. Like I say, there's hundreds of ways of making these little combos you can do. You can, if you want, don't mix it into the potato like I've done. You could keep the potato nice and clean, flatten it, and then put some mixture inside and fold it if you want, and then fry them. So they've got like a center. I like them just like that. They're a great little street food. They're available all over India and Pakistan, I know. Um, I think the guys there make them slightly better than me, to be honest. But these are delicious. I'm going to tuck into them right now. Hope you enjoy that. Lots of love to you all. See you later.